Good day, Dr. Makuni here. And uh, today, today I'm going to talk to us about oxygen delivery systems. I remember in the first video, we spoke about uh, silent hypoxia or happy hypoxia, how this uh, is a silent killer and where your oxygen concentration, so your oxygen saturations can actually drop, but uh, you don't actually know about it until it's too late. So today we are now talking about oxygen delivery systems. And I think this is important because I've realized that now more than ever, a lot of people are being managed in oxygen. A lot of people are being managed at hospitals uh, with oxygen and even in their homes. And I think it's important for us to know uh, some of the basics uh, in terms of uh, oxygen delivery systems and what we are trying to achieve. This can save someone's life. Um, be it even your healthcare provider, if they watch this video, they can just get a crucial refresher course so that they know what the adequate um, device they want to be on. So basically, a bit of physiology. Um, let's remember that uh, in the air that we are breathing right now, uh, it's 21% oxygen. And the air that comes from a device such as a concentrator or a, an oxygen cylinder is it's, it's almost 100%. I would say that cylinder is 100% and the other one, the concentrator is almost there. So basically when our saturations are low, what we're just trying to do is to make sure that we increase our oxygen saturation. And this can be done by uh, giving oxygen because you just want to increase the percentage or the fraction of oxygen in the air that the patient is breathing, in the hope that when you do increase that, it's gonna increase their saturation. So one of the key things that we need to talk about is this device here. This is called a, a, a regulator. And as you can see, I've got three arrows there. The first one, this is, uh, it's showing you this silver ball there. So that's sort of like an indicator where you can use the knob, the green knob at the bottom to actually adjust your oxygen uh, flow. So if you turn it up, it's, it increases. If you turn it down, it decreases. And then it's got little markings by the side where it's actually telling you the amount of oxygen you're delivering. And then in here, this is a humidifier where you normally put the water so that you do not give uh, a patient dry oxygen. So this is quite important because if you give them dry oxygen and if you forget to put water in here, then the, the body is going to create a lot of mucus and uh, you're not going to achieve uh, uh, your, your desired result. So the first device that we commonly use is called the nasal cannula. So this is a simple device. This end is connected to, um, to, to the regulator, um, and then this end is connected to the patient. So with this, the maximum that you can give is six meters per minute, and it's only going to increase your so it can increase your oxygen concentration up to 45% to say that the fraction of uh, oxygen in the air that the patient is breathing can actually be increased to 45%. But it's very, very variable. It depends on how much the patient is actually uh, breathing. So sometimes it can be uh, 45%, sometimes it can be as low as 24%. So if you put the patient on this, Remember, the maximum that you can go on the regulator is six liters per minute, and the maximum concentration that you can actually uh, get is between 24 to 45 percent. And if your oxygen saturations are not improving with this, you then move on to the face mask. Now, the face mask is similar to the nasal cannula, but you can take this up to 10 liters per minute in terms of the flow. So you can actually increase the flow uh, using this device. So basically, it also gives you an oxygen saturation. This one goes up to 50%, so from 24% to 50%. But again, it actually depends on the, the, the amount of air that the patient is breathing per minute. So if your patient is breathing a lot in one minute, it means that your oxygen, uh, the fraction of inspired oxygen is going to be mixed with the air from the environment making uh, then it then reduces that concentration while you think you're giving 50 percent you might actually be down to 24 percent so if this doesn't work and your oxygen saturation remain low again you can try this device 
So this is what we call a Venturi device. So basically it can, it's, you can actually control the fraction of, um, of, of the, the percentage of oxygen that the patient is breathing in by using these different uh, cannulas there. So basically you would have to start with, uh, especially if the patient is hypoxic, you start on the one with the 50% because the, 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 they are color coded and it actually tells you the flow and the percentage. So the oxygen would then come in through here and then uh, it's then jetted into this corrugated pipe and then it goes into the face mask. So as the oxygen is in the face mask, the patient actually generates the flow. So if the patient is breathing fast, you will then draw a bit more air from the environment here, which then mixes with this 100% uh, oxygen, and then it delivers uh, a guaranteed um, fraction of oxygen. So this one can actually improve your oxygen saturation because somewhat you can predict and say that you're giving the patient 15% oxygen because the actual flow rate is actually determined by how the patient is breathing. So this one can actually help. So you put the patient on this type of mask and then you monitor your saturations as well. Then the last one that I'm going to talk about is the non breather mask. Now this mask, uh, it's, it's brilliant because it's got a reservoir bag and it's got valves on the side here. So what, they, what basically happens is you connect this to the oxygen cylinder. So when the patient is breathing, the, the oxygen first fills up this bag and then the patient can breathe. And then as they exhale and breathe out, the carbon dioxide goes out through these valves because these valves are one way. So the carbon dioxide is exhaled out and then at their next breath, they are breathing this 100% oxygen which is then going in. So the patient does not actually re-breathe their air. So this increases oxygen saturation to, so the, oxygen, the fraction of, uh, of, of inspired oxygen to between 60 to 80%, and it actually reduces your oxygen consumption. So this is a very, very good device, but it's also quite dangerous in that if, if it becomes disconnected from, from the tank, or oxygen is no longer coming through the cylinder, it runs out, whatever it is, it causes a risk of suffocation because of this valve there. So this is not recommended for use at home. So, but if you're in a casualty somewhere and you've got to replay the mask, this can buy you essential time for your patient before they actually move on to going to uh, HDU or ICU, but this can save lives. Thank you for listening. I hope that this has helped someone. And let's remember to stay safe, uh, social distance, and um, make sure that we wear our masks all the time. Thank you.